Hi guys, this is lesson number 38 from our Coral Draw training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create these beautiful realistic water drops in Coral Draw. There is many tutorial teaching how to create water drops, but in this specific lesson, I will introduce you also some additional feature while creating water drops. Actually, in real world, naturally, not all the time water drops comes with the oval shape or circular shape. It's really depend on the surface where the water drop is placed. Sometimes it comes triangular shape, sometimes it is oval, sometimes it is a flow water drop. So in this lesson, I will teach you how to customize created water drop into your desired shape, such as this triangular shape or flow drop. First of all, let me show you how we achieve this beautiful realistic result on this water drop. So I will click it. As you can see that it is a group object. Here I can ungroup. And now you can see that here we have different objects. I will move it on the top here. We have a shape. Another shape is there. Small circle, white circle. It is here. There is a darkness from the bottom. You can see it is a separate object and from up also. And here we have a shadow. This is a separate element. So here we have a multiple object that we use to create this beautiful water drop. Actually here we have a six element. You can see that one, two, three, four, five and sixth one is the small circular shape. So let's see how it's done. Control Z undo. Okay. We can start with a circular shape. We can take a lip, click on the lip tool and simply draw a small lip. This lip we need to fill with white color. Click on pick tool and just bring it here. You can see there is no fill. So we are going to fill it with white color because we are going to apply shadow. Once it is selected, go to the drop shadow. You can see that here we have a drop shadow tool, shadow tool. Click on shadow. You can click on drag to apply shadow, but I will prefer to apply this preset flat bottom right and we can adjust it just bring it close to the object I'll just bring it outside here so you can see clearly now we need to change the shadow property go to the shadow again and here you can see that we have transparency and this is the shadow feathering we are going to increase the shadow feathering and transparency as well okay so the shadow is applied and it's really up to you how you want to manage you want more or less in my case i think it is uh, fine click on pick tool and let's bring this object to our leave here to observe this way the shadow it's uh, appear with object it is fine let's bring it outside drop shadow once you apply in coral drop it always come with the shape size so this drop shadow it is at the back of this oval we need only in this area because we need to maintain the transparency in our object. So if the shadow is in the back, we cannot achieve this result. So for this thing, we need to break this drop shadow in a part. To do that, you need to click outside in your page and don't click on the object, click on the shadow. Okay, from the edge, select the shadow, go to the object and you can see that here we have a break drop shadow apart. Click it. Now our object and shadow is separated. If I will click outside and select the object and move, you can see that our shadow, it is independent. All what we have to do here, we need to trim this shadow with this object. Undo to bring it back in the same place. For this thing, you need to select the object first. Press shift key and click on the shadow. From the side, carefully click on the shadow. Now the object and the shadow is selected, but make sure that you selected first the shape. Okay, and here we have option trim. Simply click on trim and select this object and move it. So you can see that the shadow has been trimmed and you cannot see any more shadow in the object area. Let's observe the things. Now this object we cannot select it by clicking in the middle here because there is a nothing. Okay, this object is only a shadow. So if you want to select this object, you need to click in this area here. Okay, and just bring it here so you can see that 
our shadow is uh, beautiful and uh, our first step it is done let's bring it outside now we are going to apply transparency so select this object here you need to understand we need to create multiple objects we will just duplicate and place it here so once this object is selected you need to fill it with the black and remove outline okay so we don't have any more outline with this object so here we have a transparency tool click on transparency and from here fountain transparency okay so we need to apply fountain transparency this way we need to leave the black up because I want to achieve this result here let's move this point up okay we apply transparency click on pick tool and bring it here this object actually you cannot align with this uh, drop shadow because the area of the drop shadow it is exceeded from the bottom so we cannot use the alignment feature we need to just align this way or if you want you can do one thing you can go to the view snap to and here we have object this must be checked and uh, from the lower quadrant we can hold it and just bring it here and place it there this way okay so the first object we have here now we need to copy this object press plus key we have another copy and simply mirror vertically so it's apply from the bottom but in this object you can see that here in our water drop from the bottom it is dark green okay inside the shadow inside the drop so this result we need to achieve here for this thing we will change the color of this object while it is selected simply click on green color and it is applied to make it dark this color double click on this swatch here double click here and go to color viewer you can see that the color palette is selected we need to select color viewer and uh, here is our current color okay we need to click somewhere in dark area so you can see that this is the color now coral dry telling the color we apply now it is here so I want to make a little bit more dark okay that is fine and then click OK so now we have here two objects in front of our shadow so let's observe the things we need to select all of them and simply bring it to the leaf here so that is fine but from the bottom I think we need to reduce the transparency a little bit and we need to apply here the bright color this effect we need to give now so bring it outside let's fix the lower portion select it once you will select the upper object is selected and it is the green go to the transparency and uh, little bit more we can bring it down okay that is fine now here we need to create another additional object you can see that on the top here we have so for this thing we can copy this object the one is green press plus key while it is selected and we have another copy this time we will mirror vertically so it will go up and reduce the size by pressing shift key make it a little bit small okay now I am going to apply white color in this but if I will apply white color you might not understand let's bring it to the leaf once again so it will be clear now the front object we need to select click outside and select this object the one we resized and apply white color so you can see that similar result we achieve here but this time we are going to little bit align up okay and from the bottom I can just reduce so you can see that uh, we achieve the same result but uh, in this water drop you can see it is a little bit more shiny okay and this is dull it is because of this object is not really bright to achieve this result simply we can duplicate this object the one is selected I will press plus key there you go so you can see that now they are the same and here we have small circular shape we can click on rip tool and create here small circle press control key so it will be perfect circle we need to apply simply white color and remove outline click on pick tool and you can see that that's all it is done 
we need to select all of them and simply group it you can group here group object or you can go to the object and here we have a feature group point to the group and click on group so it is grouped almost the same result we achieve here second thing we are going to do is to reshape to customize this water drop according to our specific need let's say i want to convert into triangular shape so there is a tool here once it is selected this grouped and it is selected here we have one tool once you will click on the shadow come down and you can see that here we have an envelope tool once you will click on envelope tool envelope it is applied to this group but directly if you will apply envelope it might not work okay it will scatter the effect that we created you can see that if i will pull from the corner it will not maintain the things the way we have in this so we cannot apply actually directly envelope tool let me show you how to manage that go back undo and before you apply envelope tool you can convert this drop into bitmap okay so for this thing go to the bitmap convert to bitmap and here we have option you need to select rgb if you are going to use this effect for desktop presentation or for web if you want to print then you can choose cmyk i will leave it rgb and here you need to increase the resolution 300 is the default i have given 600 because once you will apply it might be a little bit blurry so it will lose the quality i will prefer 600 here and then click ok so you can see that now it is a picture this time if you will use envelope tool it will work perfectly so click on the envelope tool and you can see that envelope is applied let's copy so i can show you the couple of variation press plus key so we can keep one all right so i will select this and click on envelope if i want flow drop simply i will hold it from the corner and just pull it and that's all you can see that this is how beautiful result we achieve now wherever you want you can place that look at this and any other shape i want i can use again envelope let's say this way if i want i can select these three points move it out or you can resize directly first and from the center point reduce the size so you can see that this how this beautiful realistic water drop we created and we achieved this result now you can duplicate and resize it and wherever you want you can place it so that's all you can use any surface for the background you can use jpeg image or uh, if you want you can use color also but just follow the step from this video to achieve this result i hope you enjoy this lesson try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you